If you hate chasing customers for money and doing the bookkeeping really isn't your favorite pastime, this, my friends, is going to rock your world. I'm going to show you how you can improve your cash flow by reducing or even eliminating late payers and bad debts. There's no paperwork required and you can sign up a customer in a matter of minutes. Seamless integration between these two products allows you to have automatic payment and reconciling of your customer invoices. Once these two products are integrated, you will be able to have your customer invoices automatically paid off and reconciled within your accounts package. The time saved chasing and recording payments can now be spent on your business, going out and getting more of those customers rather than chasing the ones you already have for the money that they owe you. And if you're wondering how much this all costs when it's up and running, all it is is a low transaction fee. The fees are so low, you're looking at 1% per transaction up to a maximum of two pounds and there is no minimum contract. So if you decide that it's not for you, you just stop it. There is a one time setup. So you set it and forget it. So before we get started with the sexy bit, we need to make sure that we've got the basic set up first. So you're gonna to need to have your QuickBooks Online account and you're gonna to need to go to the Go Card the Setup with QuickBooks URL. So make a note of these two website addresses. You need quickbooks.co.uk and you need gocardless.com slash quickbooks. Let's get started. Okay, so we have come to quickbooks.co.uk. If you don't currently have a QuickBooks Online account, don't worry, you can actually start a free trial. So just go here to try it free for 30 days. You don't have to pay anything. Basically, you go in, you set up an account and you just test it. But it will allow you to do everything as if you had a real account. So if you haven't got one, go here first and do that first. Set up your account, get your login and then come back. If you have, just go in now, oh, I'll go into this one or go into that one and just quickly open it up. Next thing we need to do is go to the gocardless.com QuickBooks setup or integration page. Go into there and this should come up. You will see if you already have a GoCardless account that you can actually sign in. I mean, you can sign in anyway. It's not necessary for this exercise. You can if you wanted to check your mandates, but it works anyway. The whole point of this is just to get the integration going. So click on get started and then click on get app now. And it will take you to a list of any accounts. Now, there's quite a few in here because I've got quite a few sort of set up, but you basically choose one or choose your account. And here it will say, start using Go Cardless for QuickBooks with QuickBooks. And you literally check that, that that's there and you just authorize it. If you don't want it, you click no thanks. And it's saying that Go Cardless is transmitting data to QuickBooks and it's setting up your account. Now you'll note that when I told you to set up your QuickBooks Online account, I didn't tell you to also set up a Go Cardless. I mentioned the fact that if you already have an account, that's fine because you actually do it as part of the process. So once you've clicked to the next screen, you'll come here and this is where you set up your initial details for your Go Cardless account. What's are your name, your organization, an email, set up a password, and then click create and connect your Go Cardless account. If you already have an account, you just basically sign in here. So if I just go in and do my sign in. Okay, once you've signed in, you come to this page and it's basically a welcome page. And then you click, okay, let's go. And here is where it asks you what you'd like the connection set up to be. So clearly it's going to be direct debits. This is a method. Um, you could pick another one, but I don't see why you change it. It also automatically sets up an account. This is a nominal code called Go Cardless Fees. You may want to add it to bank charges, credit charges, direct debit charges. I would leave this one 
there's no reason to change it. And you can actually track how much you're spending specifically on go cardless payments. And then you pick a bank account. Now this is a dummy account at the moment in QuickBooks. But if you had some bank accounts already set up, they would appear here and you just choose which one you want the money to go into. I would suggest if you've got a deposit account attached to your current account in your business bank, send it to that one. It will help you manage your money better rather than you all going into a straight into your current account. But that's a whole different video. Anyway, if you're an accountant, you put yes. If you're not, you put no. And then also put, we'll put add new name of your bank account and you add that in there yep and then you click next now once you've done this it will take you to another screen and tell you that you're all set up what you then need to do is go over to QuickBooks click on the little cog here go to all lists and you're looking for the bottom bit that says direct debit mandates it may not be there yet because the integration may not have taken. It can take up to an hour. If it hasn't, just come back a little bit later. There, click on that. And then what it wants you to do is if you have any mandates that are already in GoCardless, if you are a current customer, you can actually integrate them from here. So you will click on import mandates and you'll see that there are a few already that this is some I set up earlier. You then come over to match QuickBooks customer and you'll see your list of customers in here. Now this is a new account, so there aren't any, but you can actually click on the customer that you want it to integrate with. If there are none that you want it and these are new, you can actually, there is an option to add new, so you can actually add a new customer. And then all you do is click import and Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your auntie, that's done. And that's pretty much it. So the sweet bit then is when you come to create an invoice, click add invoice, you will now see it shows schedule direct debit. And you just click on that, enter the details. It will send off the mandate to your customer who then just has to update the link with their bank details and it's all done. And then you can actually go in and customize it as you want. But the beauty is once this is set up, you don't have to worry about getting the payment from the customer and QuickBooks will take care of how it's allocated in the system. Now, come on, you've got to admit that that is phenomenal. Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want more giveaways, updates and tips, go over to financialgymforbusiness.com. Have a great day.